For over a year, WWE have built up the epic story of one Cody Rhodes. After leaving the company and revolutionizing the industry with his assistance in creating All Elite Wrestling, Cody returned to WWE at WrestleMania 38 to begin writing the biggest chapter of his career. He was destined to dethrone Roman Reigns and take the WWE Championship away from the clutches of the Tribal Chief. But then, he lost. At WrestleMania 39, through the help of the Bloodline, Roman Reigns Reigns retained his title against Cody, and following that loss, fans have been sent through a whirlwind of emotions. But following the reintroduction of legends like CM Punk and The Rock, Cody's roller coaster ride towards WrestleMania 40 has become much more exciting and much more complicated in equal parts. So, my name is Grish with Wrestleology, and let's get a thousand likes as today we're going to take a look at how Cody Rhodes' WrestleMania dreams have transformed into what could be WWE's biggest American nightmare. Or perhaps should I say the Samoan Nightmare? As I'm sure you're aware, Dwayne The Rock Johnson has officially made his return to WWE and in the beginning looked to be joining Cody in his battle against the Bloodline. However, following the recent WrestleMania kickoff press conference, it's clear that Roman and Rock have decided to rather join forces as WWE's newest power trip. While it once looked like The Rock was set to fight as a hero of the people, it's clear that he has chosen to reintroduce the Hollywood Rock character. Acting as a heel despite earning decades of love from the crowd, The Rock has transformed into a self-centered, bitter, and jealous star alongside his cousin. So with The Rock's return sending shockwaves throughout the WWE, what happens now? Well, right out of the gate, it's clear that Cody will be taking on Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 40. They had a press conference, multiple tweets, and multiple promos at this point basically designed to say, sorry we said it would be Roman and Rock, here's Cody instead. Plans have clearly changed, and this was absolutely the right call. The problem here was never Rock vs. Roman. It's a dream match scenario, and fans have been waiting for years to see what that Anawaii family battle could look like. It was only when Cody decided during the now infamous promo on SmackDown to hand off his Royal Rumble victory to The Rock, essentially, that the problems began. The Rock vs. Roman Reigns still sounds like an exciting match, even more now with The Rock joining the Bloodline. Trust me, we'll get to that in a few seconds, and trust me, I still want to see that match. But Cody vs. Roman is happening at WrestleMania 40, and given the two years of build it took to get here, I really do think that Cody should win. Not only have WWE really struggled to justify their reasoning for Cody's loss last year, but we've also seen how fans could react to Cody not finishing his story. And keep in mind, this is coming from a guy that really thought that Roman should have won last year going into that match. Nowadays, I don't really have that same mindset. Hell, when The Rock looked to be replacing Cody, fans actively started booing him and forcing him into becoming a heel, a guy who from all accounts is one of the most likable superstars in history. So yes, Cody is probably picking up the win. However, as we saw during their conversation on Raw, Cody will have someone in his corner. So let's take a second to talk about the unlikely partnership between Cody Rhodes and our World Heavyweight Champion, Seth Rollins. Because at this point, Seth has become one of the biggest features of this story. And hey, isn't it nice to finally be excited for Seth Rollins? Now, I'm being a little harsh in saying that, but the feeling around the WWE Universe seems to be that Seth has been a pretty uninteresting champion. Don't get me wrong, I'll always love seeing a main event match featuring Seth and someone like either Shinsuke or Finn Balor, but he's really lacked a lot of that oomph that we as an audience desperately craved for in a world champion. With Roman Reigns defending his title a total of five times in 2023, many looked for Seth as a source of excitement. And to a no fault of his own, fans have just really struggled to sink their teeth into his stories on Raw. Until CM Punk returned, of course. However, now that he's involved in this thing with Cody and Roman, a lot of excitement has been injected into the visionary. Judging by all the promos and advertising, it seems as though Seth could be looking for a match with The Rock. Okay, editing grease here. Uh, yeah, guys, this video was fully done being scripted pretty much the day after that press uh, conference kickoff thing that they did where The Rock slapped Cody. So I get it, you know, it's going to be Drew versus Seth at WrestleMania. And I did say that I thought that was going to happen, but pretty much the whole Seth and Rock thing kind of doesn't matter. But I'm going to leave it in here anyway, just so you guys can hear my thoughts from back then. It's just that this video took a little bit to come out. 
And while many see him competing in a tag team match at WrestleMania alongside Cody, facing Rock and Roman in a star-studded bout, there are those who think Seth could be looking for a singles match with the Great One. I mean, if anyone was going to carry a part-timer like The Rock to a good match, surely Seth would be the best choice. And if they were to go ahead with that plan somehow, then it would be cool to maybe see Rock as the heel corporate Hollywood world champion? Now, I don't know if that's gonna happen because of course we also have the Elimination Chamber, so we'll really have to see what happens with Seth's title. But a lot of fun routes could be taken with Rock as champion in my opinion, whether it's through him standing alongside Roman or against, or even if both Roman and Rock left Mania as champion. Of course, I think Cody could win, but the the idea of Rock and Roman as the ultimate family power couple of the bloodline, oh my god, how does the WWE roster even react to something that big? Either way, I don't know if that's going to happen. It seems to me if that doesn't happen, we'll probably get Seth versus Drew. But either way, with him being introduced into the story, it's exciting to see what Seth's journey to WrestleMania could look like. Not only as world champion, not only as the new ally of Cody Rhodes, but also just as Triple H's handpicked guy. Yeah, he's a whole other piece in this puzzle that I haven't even mentioned yet. Coming out of the press conference, it seemed like Triple H had also become a major component of the story. Trying to hold everything together, Triple H has positioned himself as the enemy to Dwayne's newfound dictatorship over the company. A power struggle has emerged in WWE, and the 20 plus year rivalry between the Great One and the Cerebral Assassin could become one of the biggest storylines in WWE if used right. And honestly, a part of me kinda wishes to think, you know, what's to stop them from having a match. Sure, Triple H had seemingly retired as a wrestler at WrestleMania 38, but I wouldn't rule out the possibility of a return, no matter how unlikely it is, I know he is injured, but we'll see what happens. I mean, he's still in great shape, so depending on his physical limits these days, we could see a match that they've been teasing for over 7 years now. Remember their interaction at WrestleMania 31? I mean, at this point, the roles are almost reversed, with the power struggle coming from Dwayne as the heel authority figure, with Triple H acting as the flag bearer for the WWE roster. Hell, why not have it be a double retirement match if it does happen, which like I said, is unlikely, but I guess a man could dream. I could see this power struggle going on for years, with Rock versus Roman only being a chapter of that power struggle storyline. So why not have Rock and Triple H end off both of their careers in this massive match? After all, The Rock's first match in WWE was in a tag team match against Triple H. So if Triple H was ever to have one more match, why not have it all come full circle and close out this feud and their careers with one of the biggest storylines that they could ever do. However, by no means do I think that this should happen anytime soon. They still have a lot of mileage in this power struggle, so this match could also be years down the road if both are, you know, healthy enough to compete and if everything is played right. But I do recognize that there's another big match that The Rock could and probably will have in the form of The Rock versus Roman Reigns. Yeah, the Bloodline implosion is soon upon on us, and the match that comes out of this would be one of the biggest fights in WWE history. But before any talks about this match happen, let's get one thing straight. By no means should this be for a championship. If WWE are thinking about having Roman retain at WrestleMania for his eventual match with Dwayne, they need to seriously rethink their strategy in my opinion. We saw during the press conference that they do not need to have a title involved for this personal blood rivalry. Just put Rock vs Roman on the poster and people will show up to see that main event something like SummerSlam or even WrestleMania if done correctly. But to say it needs the title, that's just not true. With that being said, Rock and Roman's eventual match might just be the biggest and most exciting bout they could have right now outside of Cody vs Roman at WrestleMania. Roman's built himself up as the Thanos of WWE, conquering and destroying everyone until becoming damn near untouchable. The Rock, however, is a part of the board of directors and technically has more political power than the tribal chief himself. Yes, The Rock, in just a span of a few weeks, just became more powerful than Roman Reigns. And it's pretty obvious, every time we see them together, it's clear that The Rock is number one and that Roman is number two. And the idea of Roman being a number two guy can't sit well with the guy who's literally been WWE champion for over a thousand days, right? So how do they go forward with this? Well, that's the fun bit. 
There's so many different routes, they could practically do anything and it would be great. Could Roman turn his back on The Rock and become an even more detestable enemy against the most charismatic man in WWE? Or maybe just have Rock kick Roman out of the bloodline as a mega heel, creating some of the craziest WWE 2K Universe Mode stuff in WWE history? What about the bloodline? After all, Rock never abused them, he never kicked Jay out, he never yelled at the Usos, he never punished or hurt any of them. But then again, the argument could be made for the bloodline choosing to stay with Roman. Better the devil you know than the devil you don't. The journey to Roman vs. Rock has officially begun, and honestly, I'm most excited right now than I've ever been for it. Sure, like many fans, I've spent years imagining how this match could unfold, but I never thought we would get to this point. With Rock being a member of the board of directors, and Roman as WWE Champion, it seems like the Anawaii family may just be the most powerful family in pro wrestling right now. And if, or when, they do set their sights on pulling the trigger, it's gonna be hard to imagine a bigger match for WWE than Roman versus Rock, either as allies or, more interestingly, as enemies. And I'm kind of hoping that this happens at WrestleMania 41, which is rumored to be in Vegas. And if it is in Vegas, I'm definitely going to be there. But yeah, I'm super excited about that. But WWE is about to see some major changes. Netflix is going to start hosting Raw in a year's time. Mr. Dinosaur McMahon has finally been ripped away from WWE, and the company is currently on a rise that has not been seen before in my lifetime. WrestleMania 40, while looking like the end of Cody's years-long journey, could end up becoming only the first chapter in a years-long battle over not just WWE, but perhaps all of professional wrestling. Like I said, I do think Cody is winning at Mania. It's his time, it's his story, and WWE has a big risk of making Cody seem forgettable if he doesn't get the job done. Because coming out of it, fans will be buzzing to see how the bloodline continues. Despite a rocky 2023 with head-scratching choices made by the head of the table, 2024 seems to be the year of the bloodline. A surge of energy has sparked a new life into WWE and the bloodline saga, all thanks to the most electrifying man in all of WWE. But let me know your thoughts and predictions in the comment section down below. I will be reading every comment in today's video because I really want to know your guys' scenarios and just what you guys think is going to happen with this basically love triangle of Cody, Rock, and Roman. And of course, if you enjoyed, make sure to go ahead, hit that like button. Let's try to get a thousand and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.